Now that we've made sense of the input and output routings of the drum rack instrument, we're going to move on to a more straightforward and very useful parameter called choke. Choke is a function that allows the drum rack to play much more like a real drummer would. Basically what it does is it stops one sound from playing when a second sound is triggered, regardless of the release time or length of the MIDI note. So how might this be like a real drummer? Say for example you have a long open hi-hat sound, and then a shorter hi-hat sound that follows it. In a real drum kit, the same hi-hat would be playing both of these sounds, and it would be impossible to hear at the same time an open, sustained, and a closed, fast hi-hat sound. In a real drum kit, when a closed hi-hat sounds, it will choke or silence the open hi-hat. And in drum racks, we have the ability to recreate this digitally. Let's test this out by checking out some hi-hat sounds. So you can see we have a closed hi-hat and an open hi-hat. If we look in the chains area, we have our input output selected. So we can see over here the parameter called choke. You can have any sound in your drum rack assigned to a choke group. And that means that sounds that share the same choke group will silence each other when any one of them is played. So you can see here if we go to our pick list, there are 16 different choke groups. So let's just listen to our hi-hat pattern that we have over in session view. You can see we have the open hi-hat playing, followed closely by a closed hi-hat. Let's have a quick listen and check out how it sounds. You can hear the open hi-hat is clearly overlapping and sounding at the same time as the closed hi-hat. Let's take care of this and clean it up with a choke group. We're going to go to both our open hi-hat and closed hi-hat to the choke parameter and assign them both to choke group 1. Then we're going to head back to our MIDI clip and check out how this changes our sound. You can hear the closed hi-hat is now silencing the open hi-hat as soon as it hits. I'm going to solo these guys so you can hear them in isolation. There's with choke activated. Now let's deactivate choke by going back to no choke group and listening to the difference. The way Live handles this behind the scenes is that when it plays a second note that shares the same choke group, it sends a MIDI note off message. This means that it effectively silences the first note, regardless of the length of it in the MIDI editor or the release time of the sound in our simpler. Keep in mind that choke is only effective on longer, sustained sounds. Short sounds that finish before the next MIDI note will not produce an audible effect. In this example, I used hi-hats, but feel free to use your imagination and you can come up with all kinds of useful applications for the choke function. Up until this point, we've covered everything you need to know to build up your own drum kit. But as you know, Live is not just a studio application. So coming up in our next set of videos, we're going to be covering how to play drum racks live. Whether you're just going to use them in your studio to bang out some grooves, or take them to a live show with you, this will show you an effective way to play your drum racks much more like a real drummer would. Stay tuned.